ahead of the weekend. Um, Aaron Ramsdale's a question mark, and maybe Martin Odegaard as well. Um, those two, they've been assessed. Um, we will see more tomorrow. Um, hopefully, they will be available to to train with the team. Um, unfortunately, with with Alex, uh, still not the case. He's missed two games and he hasn't been um, able to train with the team yet. Um, the we want to talk about the transfer window. Um, there was no secret that you were interested in a midfielder. Are you disappointed that you didn't get a, a midfielder over the line? No, listen, we had a lot of things still to do in the squad. Uh, you see the amount of departures uh, comparing to the uh, players that we have recruited. Uh, the club has done, again, a phenomenal job and put everything on the table to try to bring the players and in the profiles that we wanted. Uh, then we've done business pretty early. Uh, but unfortunately, in the last 72 hours, uh, Thomas got injured uh, in the same place that uh, he was injured last time and, uh, and then Mo has a long-term injury and then we had to react in the market and uh, we tried but at the end of the day we have to to bring the player that we feel is the right player for the team and as well for the club and, um, and we didn't manage to do that. But do you think your squad now, the window's closed, has enough depth in it to compete at both the Premier League and Europa League? It's the team that we have and for me it's the best squad and the best players that I have. Uh, available. There is nothing else we can do. Uh, we have an academy as well that uh, that we have to use and try to utilize the players the, the best possible way. Um, Man United Arsenal, one of the most iconic fixtures in Premier League history. Just first of all, what are your memories of playing in this fixture, or just your memories of the fixture over the years? Yeah, they probably started a bit uh, when I was younger, watching it on TV and watching that rivalry and those special um, games between the two teams. Obviously, playing. Um, as a player, um, winning obviously a, a beautiful uh, feeling and yeah, a magnificent stadium um, to go there and uh, and be us again as a team. Do you think that we've seen these fixtures have everything over the years? Um, do you think it still has the same edge? I don't know. I think that I think there've been moments where I think the history and and all the media and everything that was talking about and a special rivalry between certain players built uh, certain momentum into this. Uh, but I think in England it doesn't get much better than that. And just finally, um, obviously you know from the start of last season how difficult it was for Arsenal at the start of last season. Man United mm. went through the same similar sort of phase at the start of this season. But Eric Ten Hag seems to have turned it around, uh, one three on the bounce. Were you impressed by how quickly he seems to have done that? Well, when you look at the squad that they have, uh, the players that they signed, the amount of money they have spent in the market, I'm not surprised they're going to win a lot of football matches. Um, and Manchester United history tells you that this is going to happen. So it's another big rival. We know that, and we need to compete with them. James from Sky. Hi, Mikel. Hello. It seems that the club were pushing quite hard to bring in a midfielder yesterday. What was your take on the way things played out in the end? We push to uh, strengthen the team and bring the, the best um, possible people and players into this football club. And uh, we have managed to a certain level. And, uh, and and then we have our limitation. Time was a big limitation uh, with what happens in the last 72 hours in, in our midfield. And, and we tried to act, uh, but we didn't find the right player. I think there's a slight disappointment from, from some Arsenal fans, but how important was it? not to panic and make a signing just for the sake of making one? I think we have learned a lot from that and look, still the players that um, that we have to get out. Um, we only have to bring top talent, top quality people through that door uh, and be very disciplined. And in those moments, you can make huge mistakes that can cost the club and the team uh, a lot, not in the near future, but maybe a little bit ahead. And we want to avoid that as much as possible. And you said on Wednesday night, a little bit short in midfield. How do you assess the options you have now? Potentially more opportunities for Sambi Lekonga and potentially Vieira as well. Believe more on the players that we have, look after them better, uh, give them confidence and uh, they have the ability to do it. And uh, that's what we'll do. Do you see a trip to Old Trafford on Sunday being the biggest test that this side has faced so far this season? Uh, the, the, the test in the Premier League is every single week, every opponent that you played. Um, you see it in any game that has been played this weekend, a part of one or two, um, and I don't expect anything different there. And finally for me, Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang has confirmed his move to Chelsea. What do you make of his return to the Premier League and what sort of impact do you think he'll have at Chelsea? Well, I'm sure if he's made that decision because um, he wants uh, 
to change again and uh, and find um, the best possible move for his his future. And uh, he's been here. We wish him the best of luck. George and BBC. Thanks, Dan. Miguel, hello. Um, Zinchenko, do you think he'll be in the squad for Sunday after missing the last two games? Again, after missing two games, I've not been able um, to be ready yet to train with um, with the team. Unfortunately, that's the situation that uh, that we have. Um, last season, you lost Thomas Partey and Kieran Tierney, and it, you sort of had a few defeats after that. Do you think this squad is more capable of handling losing players, significant players, now this summer? Well, I hope we do. I hope we can play still really well with with many other players, uh, and as well just to put a finger on something to lose a football match is not something the, that I do to analyse the a performance. Um, you, by the looks of it, put a lot of planning into transfers and the players you want, and identifying the players you want. Do you think because you've got your done business done early, Arsenal fans are probably going to not have so many deadline days going forward? Deadline day moves going forward in the future. No, because yesterday we could have done something if it was the right player, the right deal and something we could afford. Uh, because sometimes you have to react to something that happens. We would have done that. That was yesterday a, a real possibility and um, and we tried. But uh, then we kept the discipline as well to say it has to be the right player uh, for the team and for the club. Um, what was your final conversation with Hector Bellerin after he's left? Can you just give us some insight into what you said to him and wish you well? Yeah, he called me really late last night. Um, and that was more a conversation like the conversation we used to have when we were teammates and really good friends. Um, take the coaching and the player situation a little bit away and um, and get back into that relationship as well. Um, I love the kid. Um, I love what he's done for the club. Uh, he's someone that uh, I really, really have a strong feelings about him and I wish him because I know it's one of his dreams to play there. Uh, hopefully he can fulfill his dream and, and get back his career uh, where he can because he's still very young and, and has a lot to do. Um, morale must be very good. Two wins, but significant wins coming from behind. Um, big sides, they go and win at Old Trafford, though, don't they? So what would it mean to do that for you and this team? What would it do for the morale of the team if you could win there? That, that's not something new. We've done it. Uh, we have to do it again. And we have to believe from today, uh, from yesterday, straight after the game, that um, that we are capable of going there, play our way and win the match. Simon? Um, Mikhail, have you got a time frame on how long Now, with more probably it's a little bit um, easier, um, and we are talking months. Uh, with Thomas, hopefully, we are talking weeks or even shorter than that, I hope. And just with Thomas, he's obviously had you know, a few injuries since he, he came to the Premier League and adapting to that intensity. Going forward, do you think the club might have to try and manage him in a different way, or do you think he's just been unlucky? We have tried to manage him. Um, a lot has happened uh, since he joined, obviously, and, uh, and we are trying the best possible way to find the reasons why that happens. But uh, unfortunately, the body and the mind are too difficult uh, sometimes to understand and put a finger on a single thing to try to prevent something happening. But the attitude of the player is there. His willingness is really disappointed again, obviously, as you can imagine, and the team needs him, so we need him back. OK, last couple of the live section. Firstly, James. I think uh, Hector is the sixth player in, in recent years to have left, either through contract cancellation or, uh, on this, in this case, a free transfer. How important is it you start getting fees for these players and, and maybe put a stop to a, a culture where it, it sort of seems like players will, clubs will wait for you to rip up a player? I always say that the market doesn't lie. Uh, was when a player comes and says that I have to do that and I, ha I am here and I am there, it's very simple. Go on the market and the other teams, the other coaches, they're going to tell you how good you are, what your value is, what you've done. And uh, we have to try to obviously get uh, everything we can get done and sometimes we have to get the, the right balance. And um, hopefully we're going to be in a very different position very soon. Okay, Hi Miguel, uh, five wins from five, this is just the August for you. How, you must feel so proud that your process is, de is developing and working going forward. Especially, obviously, the, the feeling and the energy that is around the club, um, the way the team is playing, the team is performing, and, and at the end of the day, the ice on the cake is winning football matches. That's the only reason why we are here. We have to continue to do that. Um, keep doing the simple things right, 
and maintain the energy levels and the belief and enthusiasm that we have and keep playing well. How has it been to join up such a young squad as well? Very fulfilling because when you see a player six months ago, when you review certain things with a player a year ago, sometimes you cannot believe how much they've grown um, in a year's time. But uh, when you have huge talent, um, hungry personalities and people who love what they do, normally good things happen. Quick one for James. Okay, well, when you were a player here at Arsenal, the team never won a Premier League game at Old Trafford. And we used to talk to Arsenal a lot about a kind of psychological issue about going up there and, and playing. You've obviously won there a couple of years ago. Do you sort of feel that's no longer an issue now that you've worked through that as a club? I don't think so. And obviously, we, we have gone through that we didn't win at Stamford Bridge as well for 20 or something years and this and that. We need to believe that you go there and, and you play the way you want to play and you can win the football match. Uh, we've done it and that's the belief that we have. I'll just ask you one about the Samuel Martinez. He was a player that Arsenal were linked with before he went to United. How close did that one come? Uh, we talk about the players that we have here. Were you surprised by the criticism that he received, though, Martinez? Because, I mean, Jamie Carragher has already said he, he can't play in a back four in the Premier League and, you know, because of his height, but he seems to have started very well. I think every player gets uh, criticism, sometimes positive, sometimes negative.